Okay, so this is where we left off. So we have a functioning breakout game. But the last issue I'm going to solve in this video is sometimes sometimes the ball gets through the walls so I'm going to demonstrate it here in Inkscape so sometimes it just happens that the ball instead of bouncing back from the uh, wall it gets through it so and I think it's happening because the ball moves uh, a little bit fast or yeah so let's say the ball is here and it checks for collision and there is no collision but uh, the next frame ball moves behind the line and it checks for collision and there is no collision so uh, but I don't want to slow down the ball's movement because I like it as it is so instead of slowing down the ball's velocity I'm just going to create here in the uh, ball class an update function the update okay the update and and I'm going to ask if self that position that x is less than 50 which is the left wall or self that position dot x is bigger than 1230 which is the right wall or self dot position dot y is bigger than 800 so here I'm checking for the left wall here I'm checking for the right wall and here I'm checking for the top wall so if any of these is true then I'm going to reverse the ball's velocity so serve that velocity times equals negative one so now we are going to invoke this update function in the game windows uh, update method so self that ball that update so let me take a look okay so now the ball will always within will be always within the screen so it never gets outside the walls but uh, it's not the perfect solution because uh, let's say the ball is going this way and if it if it goes through the wall and it reverses it its velocity the update function we just wrote reverses its velocity it means it should go this way but instead it it will go back where it came from so that's because uh, just by reversing the velocity it's it works but it's not perfect it's not a perfect solution okay so now we can be sure that that the ball never gets through the uh, playing area and I think this was the last video in this mini series and 
yes, I'm going to add a GitHub repo to the descriptions as soon as I create one for this. And yes, hmm. thanks for watching and have a nice day.